Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. So welcome to the next instalment of the heavy water or the deuterium enrichment series. Uh, what we've got so far is, um, well right now it's near the end of January. Uh, the video probably won't go up for a fair while. But at this stage we've got around 800 milliliters here of 10 to 15 times the regular concentration of deuterium. And I've just made a little bit more which I'll add to that. And we have about a litre, including this, of that. Uh, so hopefully within the litre that we have, we've got between one and a half to two um, millilitres worth of pure heavy water, which would be nice. So what I'll be doing for the next, I don't know, month or so is I'm going to continue electrolyzing down this litre of water until we have using this electrolytic cell I'm going to continue reducing it down until we've got maybe 100 to 200 milliliters worth of water by which point it should be nearly 1% heavy. I've been running the cell pretty slowly lately uh, only between 3 and 5 amps it's a lot slower than the 10 amps that I had uh, previous cells running at but I think at lower amperages it should have a better separation factor maybe. Anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and pour the remainder of that water into here and then maybe I'll filter off any solid particles that are in there and we'll continue electrolyzing down in that jar there. So if we have a look at the electrodes as well, just taking them out, you can see they've fared pretty well compared to the other electrodes that I've had previously. All this white stuff would just be the sodium carbonate. Uh, crystallizing out on the top. Uh, we've got the cathode in the middle and the anodes on the outside. Uh, the cathode has been getting a little bit kind of spongy lead over the, uh, the surface, but that's all right. Uh, I think it should survive for, well, until we can get it down to 100, 200 milliliters. So that is excellent. I thought for a bit and I decided we won't be filtering any of the solids that are coming off the electrodes because they don't really hurt the reaction and every time we filter this stuff we just end up losing just a little bit of water and we're at the stage now where we really don't want to be losing any water where we don't have to be losing any. So we just stick the electrode assembly straight back in and that should be good to go. More electrolysis. There it is down in the coolant bath along with a lot of other stuff uh, and we've got it running at wait, 4 amps so that should be done in uh, around a week it should have should take to reduce the 400 milliliters that's in there down to 200 milliliters and I'll have to stick it in another container and we'll get through the rest of the stuff that we've got to get through so it's looking good, uh, it's all electrolyzing down nicely. I'll speak to you again in a month or so when we have reduced it down to a much smaller volume than we've got at this stage. So actually it's only been a day. I thought it would be pretty smooth sailing uh, through, the, through this stage of enrichment. But we have run into two problems. Uh, you can probably see down the bottom there, all of the sodium carbonate has started to crystallize because of course we're reducing the volume of the water and making it more and more concentrated in uh, sodium carbonate and it's all crystallizing out down the bottom which is impeding the, uh, the current flow. Also I don't know if you can see around here but uh, we've got kind of a lot of spongy lead on the cathode which means that the lead is slightly electroplating and that would be all the impurities of the water as we're making it more concentrated we're allowing the lead to electroplate more and more easily uh, so we need to get rid of the impurities and make it less concentrated in sodium carbonate so the solution for those two problems is of course uh, distilling all of our concentrated heavy water that we have so far which I didn't really want to have to do but I guess we'll go ahead and do that anyway so the distillation's just starting now. Hopefully we'll be able to separate all the water from the 
uh, sodium carbonate. Right now it is, uh, well, maybe not at this temperature, but it was a saturated sodium carbonate solution. So uh, hopefully it boils nicely and doesn't, it's looking pretty good actually. So that's all right. I'll let this just keep going and uh, we'll get through the whole litre of water that we had. Um, a quick update, uh, I have broken an Erlenmeyer flask in this process. I was really stupid and kept heating uh, the mixture even though some sodium carbonate had begun to solidify on the bottom uh, and overheated and just kind of cracked the glass. Uh, but luckily by that point I'd already distilled um, around 400 millilitres of water and so that 400 millilitres is now down in the electrolytic cell uh, being further concentrated and I've just got more water distilling now in the other in my flask. It doesn't have a, uh, a joint on it so I've just kind of taped it onto the distillation apparatus. Uh, it's worked before so this should be alright. Maybe in the future I'll get a proper like heating mantle and then we'll be able to heat like a round bottom flask instead. So finally uh, we are at the stage where we have distilled uh, the majority of our concentrated heavy water. I'll get that it's over here now. Uh, so hopefully around, I don't know, can't really tell how much that is, 400 mils in there. And with another 400 mils that I've had, I've just concentrated that down to a half of what it was. So here we have our first batch of what is hopefully uh, approximately 20 times concentrated uh, deuterium in water. So that's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and put that in uh, this container, I think, and uh, we'll set up another batch. We'll concentrate down this. Uh, this stuff as well. Uh, I'm not too happy about how much water I was actually able to get out of the um, sodium carbonate because um, unlike sodium sulfate like we had before it's kind of a little bit tricky to um, dehydrate the salt. I'm pretty sure this is all still hydrated um, sodium carbonate so it's still got a fair amount of our um, heavy water in it. Uh, what I'm going to do instead of just heat the salt like I did with the sodium sulfate. Uh, I think that, like I showed you before, that kind of cracked the glass of the Erlenmeyer flask. Um, what I'm going to do is maybe make a little desiccator bag uh, with some anhydrous sodium sulfate uh, to absorb all the, the water moisture content of the sodium carbonate. Hopefully that'll um, get rid of all the water from the sodium carbonate and uh, it will be absorbed in the sodium sulfate, which is a lot easier to remove the water from. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I'll get the sodium carbonate out of that flask, put it all in here, and then set up a desiccator bag. So I've just put that uh, 200 milliliters worth of that 20 times concentrated deuterium water in that container, and we've got that 400 milliliters of what 10 to 15 times concentrated heavy water in the electrolysis jar. Uh, what I'm going to use is the electrolyte from now on I think. I'm going to use sodium sulfate as as we've seen it's uh, it's a lot easier to remove the water from sodium sulfate than it is from sodium carbonate so I'll go ahead and add some sodium sulfate to that and we'll just let that run at 5 volts just like the other one until we're down to 200 milliliters again and then once we've got that 400 milliliters we'll put it back in concentrate it down as far as we can and I'll set up a new electrolytic cell next time. So there we go, uh, down in the electrolytic cell down here, uh, we've got around 400 milliliters of our uh, 10 to 15 times concentrated deuterium in water, uh, just electrolyzing away. We'll electrolyze that till it's half of the volume and add it to this. This is our 20 to 25 times concentrated deuterium. And then whatever's left in here, hopefully uh, all the water that's trapped in the uh, crystal structure of the sodium carbonate that will be absorbed by this little beaker of sodium sulfate that I've got here. Uh, if sodium sulfate isn't a powerful enough, um, isn't isn't hydroscopic enough, uh, I'll just replace that with some sodium hydroxide. But hopefully that'll work. Uh, I'll let this go for a month or so, and by the time that this is finished electrolyzing down to 200 milliliters, we'll have 400 milliliters worth of 20 times concentrated deuterium.
anyway i think i'll leave it there for this episode um next time we will electrolyze this down to a much smaller uh, volume around 100 milliliters and that should reach the point where uh, the deuterium content is one percent when we reach that 100 milliliters so in the next couple of months hopefully by then we will have reached that point anyway till then see you later